Mr. Rada, most important question. Yeah. What is your favorite Eurovision song? Wow. Uh, well, I, I have to say Toy, of course. It won. Uh, that's why we have the Eurovision here uh, in Tel Aviv. Um, You're not tempted by Diva or Abanabi Abanaba? Yeah, I, I love them, but Toy is like the newest, so that's why I, I like it. <laughs> That belongs to your generation, but you are a very popular singer here in Israel and beyond. Yeah. And you were saying that one of the things that you like about Israel is the, and it's linked to the Eurovision as well, the cultural diversity that, that informs your music. Yeah. What is the music scene like here? Uh, it's, it's, it, it's so rich, the, the music scene in Tel Aviv, just because of, like, like I said, you know, people in Israel are from all over, people from, I don't know, Poland and Yemen and Morocco and Ethiopia and um, and it's it just such a rich mixture of cultures and and, and, and it, it, it comes to the music of course, so a lot of musicians here are like, um, you know, just mixed of a lot of things that reach in the, the music. What's your next musical collaboration uh, you mentioned Polish can we, we can look forward to a Polish Ethiopian song <laughs> ah, it's funny I should think about it Polish Ethiopian song <laughs> oh amazing uh, well I'm trying I'm, I'm doing now like a, a, a Hebrew album uh, something that I didn't do yet and uh, it's a it's a challenge for me um, um, uh, and I like challenges and, and that's what I'm doing right now you mentioned a lot about your influences, a lot of them from the jazz world, Nina Simone and Billy Holiday, but also more recent people like Eric Abadou. Uh, what will be the tone of, of this new album? What, are you, he, Hebrew Eric Abadou? Or? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Hebrew uh, Nina Simone. More like Chava Alberstein <laughs> and Galia Tari and uh, Nurit Galron, like the, the women of Israel. So... Eurovision is going to be here in Amal. Are you bracing yourself? Are you looking forward to it? Or, um, no, I think it's going to be a, a big mess, right? Like a lot of people <laughs> in one place. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, flee to the desert. <laughs> I love the desert. I love the, the quiet there. So. so don't go to the Eurovision. Go to the desert. <laughs> You've heard it here first. But uh, we're in the middle of elections in Israel. It's going to be voting tomorrow there's going to be uh there's a lot of turmoil in the world generally you know can is it naive to think music can help us all to get along a, li a little bit better no it's not naive i gotta tell you it saved my life um and i know a lot of people that it saved their life so no it's not naive. music does a lot of change uh in in the hearts and and, and in the mind so and that's what's important uh, have you faced yourself, um, some people have uh, tried to boycott Israeli goods or they said that you shouldn't perform in Israel. I mean, what would you say to people who um, think that that's the right course of action? That boycott is never the, the solution. Hate is never the, is never the solution. Um, only love can bring love. Um, and if you have something to say, come and say it. Because you think we need to hear, so come and tell me. I want to hear. I want to learn. I want to develop. Everybody wants to, you know. So you should come and say what you what's on your mind and try with your music the biggest tool to to, to bring people together.